We all know about gravity. When something is really heavy, the size of a planet, for example, it pulls other objects towards it. That's why we don't float off Earth. It's holding us down. Technically, we're also pulling Earth toward us, but because we're so small and Earth is so large, we don't really affect it much. Now, everything on a planet is being pulled toward its heavy center because of the planet's gravity, and everything is drawn as close to the center as possible. The only way for everything on the surface to be equally close to the center is for the planet to be round. Each point on the surface of a smear is the same distance from its center. If a planet were, say, a cube, its corners would be farther from the center than everything else. Because of gravity, these corners would collapse inward to get closer to the center. After this collapse and the planet's subsequent reformation, it would end up being a good old smear. But like its human inhabitants, Earth is not perfect. It bulges slightly at its middle, the equator, because it is spinning. Its shape then is somewhat wonky. Earth's equator is more than a dozen miles farther from the planet's center than are the North and South Poles. The technical term for Earth's shape is oblate spheroid. Most planets are oblate spheroids. Saturn is the most noticeably wonky. Its equator is 10% fatter than its polar diameter. Throw that at your friends the next time there's a lull in the conversation and watch them bow to your genius. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe if you would, and I will see you on my next video.